Hello guys and welcome to a brand new day of TCG Pokedex. Now today, um, as usual, we are finally back with uh, viewer battles. So if any of you who are currently online on the Twitch chat, I guess you get you guys get the early bird um, special, <laughs> and we can play against each other. See Turgan, hello, thanks so much for being here. HPK Tank and Joel, thank you so so much for being here you guys are awesome thc game thank you so much for being here um yeah guys if you want to add me add underscore demo underscore tableman and you can send me a challenge um today we are going to be using um a steelix deck a hypno deck and a kangler deck now i don't know why this one T oh because i named it tcg pokedex Okay, so Pokedex 042 Hypno. There we go. Okay, no worries, see Turgan. Um, if there aren't, if there isn't anyone right now who wants to play, I can definitely just um, try to grind out the ladder with the Steelix deck. And yeah, I guess I'll do that. <laughs> now the Steelix deck. Let Let me show it really quickly. So you guys can take a look at it. Um, it's basically the Magnezone base, um, like for the Necrozma deck, but we are using Steelix. So for the Pokedex series, um, which was brought back by Tabletop Village, so pretty happy with that and very thankful with them um, for sponsoring the channel and letting us bring back this series. So TCG Pokedex, we're trying to complete the Pokedex by going in order, um, in ascending order of the Pokedex. So right now we're doing, um, we're still in Kanto. It's been a while, but we are still in Kanto. And today it would be Onyx's turn, but there's only one Onyx um, out there and it only hits for 40 damage. So usually if they have an, another evolution, um, I do feature like the latest stage. And Mr. Ruben, thank you so much for subscribing. I'm unfortunately not in St. Louis. Um, because of my leak up schedule and whatnot, um, I won't be going to St. Louis, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have been on my way there right now. But I'm going to have to miss out because because of cups. Um, we can't afford to miss two cups this weekend. So, yeah, I, I'm very sad. Trust me. <laughs> I'm very, very sad that I don't get to go. Um, I probably would have ended up running Espion Garbodor. Um, like, I've tested the deck and it felt super strong. Like, it felt so strong that I'm surprised I stopped playing it. Um, like, Zorak became a thing and then the four field blowers in Europe were a thing and that deterred me. Um, with, with Parallel City, yeah. With two Parallel City. Um, yeah, I was, I don't know, like it felt so strong against Zork now that they're running two field blowers. Um, so I guess with a four field blower list, I was very scared. Um, but yeah. So as I was saying, TCG Pokedex, we tried to complete the Pokedex. Today would be Onyx's turn, so Onyx and Steelix evolution line. So that's why we're using a Steelix deck where we're going to try to Iron Tail our opponents. And in order to play against me you guys can send me a challenge um, you guys can send me a challenge you can add me at demo underscore tableman as C Turgan is mentioning um, hello Angel Sor <laughs> thanks so much for being here you guys can add me at demo underscore tableman and then that way you can um, you can send me a, a friend request and if I already have added you then we can play and Flaming Axel yes that is me I am Pablo Meta that took top four at Memphis so I'm gonna go ahead and start a match um, whilst more people arrive and then I can add more of you guys and we can get some games going against you guys because I know a lot of you um, want to battle me and whatnot so Fridays and Saturdays are the ideal days to do so because that's when we're completing the TCG Pokedex and um, we play against, or I play against you guys. Um, I just add you and then as the challenges start uh, coming in, that's when I, 
that's what I start doing. Um, like I just accept them as they come. So this Steelix deck, I'm using Magneson to try to power up um, the Steelix. The good thing is that once Steelix has five energy, I actually don't have to attach um, more than those. Um, so I don't rely on having like if I lose a Magneson, it's okay because then Steelix already has the five energy usually. Um, and Flaming Axel, I'll, I'll add you after this game, but today I'm using like more fun decks. Today is TCG Pokedex series, so I'm actually not using any meta decks. So, and it's appreciated if you guys don't use meta decks as well. <laughs> um, that's definitely encouraged for this series because otherwise um, it becomes super, super difficult. And okay, we are up against Turbo Dark. So, the Fighting Fury belt might lack. Um, Basically, what we need is we need Victini to try and increase our chances of getting one hit KOs on the EXs and GXs. Because Steelix EXs attack deals 100 for every heads you flip until infinity. So we're just gonna try to get a lot of heads and we're gonna have um, like a do over with Victini. And yeah, the new Full Art Lily is awesome. We, I actually pulled one yesterday when opening packs with my girlfriend. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that was pretty cool. And let me make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Here's a choice band, but we are fine for now, I think. Uh, Mount Coronet, okay. So with the Mount Coronet, we see that my opponent is running choice band. Do I want to get rid of the field blower? Do I mind? Eh, I still need two heads to knock out Evelt also. Might as well just draw the full 8 with, um, might as well draw the full 8. Ooh, we priced two Steelix right off the bat. What? <laughs> Hello, Poké Collectors and Nope, Steel Valley. Uh, this is Steelix. Today we're playing, um, today we are playing for fun uh, with the TC. We're trying to complete the Pokédex. Um, so sometimes we get to use good cards, sometimes we get to use bad cards. Uh, Steelix EX is a mediocre card, but yeah, I mean the whole idea behind this is to use fun stuff and to just have fun. Like that's literally the whole the whole intention of this is to just have fun. Um, I will be going to North Carolina regionals for sure. Um, that's why I'm going to the two league cups this weekend. I'm not going to St. Louis so that I can just um, get those out of the way and then just focus completely on regionals for this quarter. Um, I think I'm gonna nest ball for the Victini. Yeah, I think I'm gonna nest ball for the Victini. Now, next turn, I get neutral for Lele, Lele, Skyla for Rare Candy Magnezone, which seems okay, except we're still two energy away from using Iron Tail. Although, I might actually want to use um, Wild Edge against the Veltal to just get the 100% secure knockout. And yeah, um, hopefully see you there, Poké Collectors. Um, I really should be, there's no way, I, well, there is a way, but I'm really hoping I get to, I get to go. And okay, my opponent targets the Magnemite. My opponent decides to target the Magnemite, which is very smart, definitely very smart. Um, I'll just promote the Floatstone Magnemite for now. And then I top deck a Sycamore. So, again, Ultra Ball. I can Ultra Ball those two away, and then I can Lele, Lele for Skyla, Skyla for Rare Candy, as was intended. Yeah? And then, hopefully, the thing is, we still need two more energy. That's the issue. Still need two more energy to start attacking with our Steel Leagues, and then there's not even a guarantee that we'll be able to deal with the Dark Cry. We're gonna try, but there's definitely no guarantee. Can you imagine responding to this Dark Cry with like a double head flip on Steel Leagues EX? That would be crazy. That would be absolutely crazy. Okay, magnetic circuit, and I will attach there, and I will attach there. And then, if I retreat, my opponent right now is dealing 100 damage. I feel like I could let 
Tapu Lele take a hit. All the other Pokemon are pretty crucial. And I really don't want my Steelix to be damaged right off the bat. And the next turn we take a more and we're looking for two metal. That's all we're looking for. Or a professor's letter. Um Seal Valley game, you have a Guardian's Rising box coming today. But you don't want a Rainbow Rare Lele? <laughs> That's fair. Um I mean, you could get the Rainbow Rare and then sell it or trade it for a normal Lele and then some other cards. I'm sure people would be willing to do that. Uh, people who like trading up their cards. Uh, there's a Guzma. Oh, okay, so my opponent is going to take the first hit on the Steelix. This is really bad because we don't have another Steelix. That's why this is really bad. If I had another one, I wouldn't be too worried, but I priced two of them. So that is actually an issue. Um, I hope you pull I hope you pull the Lele Seal Valley Gaming. Um, what new decks do you think are tier one? You tested Glacian. Um, yeah, I think the best thing is the Dustman, the Crossman, Magnuson. I think that's the strongest deck by far. Okay, if I attack my, if I deal 20 damage to myself, I will be at 130, and then there will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I would be 10 short of a knockout by my opponent. So I'm gonna field blower this. And then I'm just gonna Sycamore, I guess. Maybe off of my prizes, I can get another Steelix. Ooh, but I didn't even get. Okay, I got the Fighting Fury Belt, which is nice. I did not get another. Um, I did not get another Steelix. I mean, another Metal Energy, so I can't even use the other attack. But I don't think I should here. Now I have 220 HP, which is a nice number to have. And my opponent has one Energy. Team Polyswag, thanks so much, Alex, for the host. Thank you so so much. Okay, do I bench? Nah. I'm just gonna use. Uh, wild Edge, I do want to deal the extra damage, and we shall see what happens. Um, I have a ton of HP, so I think my opponent needs another energy and a choice band. And he has one card in hand, which I'm going to assume is a Sycamore or a Cynthia. Um, I actually prefer Dustmane over Vika Bulu. Um, oh, there's an energy and there's a choice band. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's 140. 140 plus 50, that's 190. So my Steelix actually survives. He whiffs the elixir, which is good. And I got a Steelix off of my prize cards, which is also very nice. So now this is where the fun begins. This is actually where the fun begins. My opponent will attack me for however amount of damage he wants or can. And then we shall uh, hopefully flip two heads. <laughs> That's the goal. That is the goal. And then we remove an energy. We hopefully power up the Steelix on the bench. Green Ninja is also pretty good, I agree. Uh, Buzzle Lycanroc and Buzzle Carpenter are also pretty good. Um, my opponent replaces the stadium, which is not ideal, but that's okay. Still, it survives, which was the main goal here. So there's the energy, which is nice. So let's do this, and then I have a bunch of supporter cards. I generally don't see myself needing all three Kuzma this game, so I'm just gonna stick more to get closer to more energy. <laughs> I only get one though. I only get one, which is really sad. Okay, so now can we get two heads? That is the question. Can we get two heads in a row in order to knock out that dark cry? I will not be using or grabbing anything, then I will use a Bizzle Hand. <laughs> Victini is your favorite Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Okay, so. Professor's letter for the last two metal energy in my deck, which means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I actually priced three energy. So I, pri I priced two Steelix and three energy. That's just crazy. <laughs> that is actually insane. Okay, I'll burn this card as well. 
And then, and my last prize is Mount Coronet, I think. Unless I only have three Mount Coronet here. I'm not entirely sure, but let's go with the Iron Tail. Uh, there's one heads, there's two heads, three heads, four heads, five, six, what? <laughs> what? 610 damage on that dark run. That was so cool. That was so cool. Wow. 610 damage. Someone needs to clip that. Definitely someone needs to clip that. <laughs> that was crazy. Uh, the white snakes. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. For the bits, there we go, now it's green, and just in time, oh, now it's blue even, um, just in time for the, um, for the Steelix show, ooh, field blower, that's annoying, field blower is annoying because my opponent gets the knockout here, Steelix goes down, that was pretty cool, <laughs> that was so silly, um, <laughs> That was actually so silly. And thank you so much, the White Snake. Seriously, thank you, thank you so much. You're always coming through with the, with the cheers, and they're very, very appreciated. Seriously, thank you so, so much. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna let Octillery take a hit here. Uh, but if I lose Octillery, I could be in trouble because I really need Mount Coronet now. I mean, I I can Wild Edge actually. If I Wild Edge, um. Okay, I'm gonna promote Magnetone. I might actually have a shot at winning this match, which is crazy. Because Turbo Dark is supposedly good now. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, the choice band is annoying. Six energy. Then he attacks, gets a seventh into play. So that's seven, eight, 160, 190. So if I deal 20 damage to myself, I am in trouble. So the ideal scenario here is if I'm able to pick up the Mount Coronet and get a fifth energy on my Steelix and I knock out this Tablele, that would be amazing. That might actually give me the game. So the thing is, if I don't, okay, if I knock out here, he gets to keep the energy, right? So he would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 140 plus this. 160 plus the choice band 190 and I have 220 HP so he would need two more energy My opponent would need two more energy Okay, I think I'm gonna abyssal hand and if I get it then I try to get rid of the Lele I don't get it So I think I just wing it here and hope he can't get two energy into play He only has one more elixir who knows how many field blowers though? Ah, stupid priced energy though. <laughs> stupid priced energy. Okay, do I Cynthia here? I would be down to one card. No, I definitely don't Cynthia. I'll just wild edge and deal the damage. Oh, I'm not accounting for the 20, am I? I have 200 HP left. Oh, that was so silly. That was actually so silly. Did I just lose because of that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 160, 190. Oh yeah, he only needs one energy. Duh, he only needs one energy. <laughs> Poké Collectors, uh, do you have Twitter? Uh, duh, I, I forgot the self damage. And my last Tilix is prized. My last Steelix is prized. Ooh, N. So my opponent actually doesn't have the energy. Angel Thor, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so, so much. Experience here. Choice band. Oh, he whiffed. He whiffed. Steelix arrives with 10 HP. <laughs> so we actually have a shot here. We actually have a shot of winning okay double heads can we get the double heads guys can we get the double heads uh yeah poke elector send it to me on facebook that's fine okay and r1 yes uh saturdays is uh playing against subs in spanish okay 
So this is gonna be epic, guys, I hope. We need two heads. We need two heads. We need two heads. Iron Tail, let's go. One, two, three. <laughs> yes. We didn't even need Big Teeny. What is this? <laughs> we just beat Turbo Dark with Dilly DX. Oh my gosh. Dealing a total of 920 damage. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might have just spent all my luck, but that was totally worth it. <laughs> that was totally, totally worth it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the cheer was on point. The cheer was seriously on point. <laughs> and thank you so much, Poké Collectors, for the clip. I just got it. Thank you so, so much. That was so cool. <laughs> that was so cool. And the internet is cooperating as well. Which is awesome. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna accept you guys, and then, are you guys ready to to take on Steelix? Because clearly it's um it's a pretty good deck. Um, yeah. If you guys want to challenge me, otherwise we can try and and see what happens with Steelix on the ladder. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> when have you ever seen that happen, guys? When have you ever seen that happen? When have you ever seen that happen? Oh no, a fire deck. That's gonna be an issue. That's gonna be an issue. That's okay. Oh, is this Lithian? Is this Lithian Lurantis Turtonator? Maybe. With Oranguru? Okay, we get to go first, which is awesome. And... Hello, Josh. Yeah, we can definitely play. Thanks so much for being here. We're having a ton of fun with Steelix. <laughs> a ton of fun. It's been a while since I had so much fun. It's like it's so ridiculous and it worked. It shouldn't work, it should never work. <laughs> but it did. Oh, Volcarona, okay. That's scary actually. Volcarona is very scary. Okay, so we're gonna Ultra Ball away. The, ener the two energy? Mm. The field lower. I don't know what tools my opponent will have, but that's okay. And we definitely need as much consistency as possible, so we're gonna set up the Remorade so that we have access to artillery. Hello, Joe Bro. Thanks so much for stopping by. And Kumi Girl, my username is demo underscore tablemon. In case you wanna add me. Okay, I'm just gonna play this, but I'm not gonna grab anything. And then, I should check my prices though. And then we're gonna Lily. Ooh, okay, so we are going places, guys. We are going places. We can retreat into the Stilix, we have the Rare Candy, Magnezone, and a Sycamore ready to go for next turn. And a Professor's Letter even. And potentially double Octillery. So, yeah, Stilix DX, new meta. And yeah, guys, I mean, <laughs> I'm not using Dosmane Necrozma, which doesn't need uh, head slips, so pretty different, um, pretty different build, but yeah, this is, this is pretty cool, it's fun, at least, it's fun, and, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Josh, um, what I usually do is, whoever sends the challenge first, um, that's why battle, so, if you're up for it, once you see that I'm about to finish the game, because usually there's a little bit of lag between what happens in the game and what shows up. So, ooh, I haven't turned this on actually. My computer is calling hot. Okay, so we have a chance to knock out this Larvesta here. We see, ooh, we see double Fomantis. So it is Lurantis with Volcarona. I don't remember what Volcarona does, but since it's grass and fire type, you get the benefit of the Laurentis promo, which is very nice. Okay, so we're gonna magnetic circuit. I mean, thankfully we don't need five energy. We just need four to take a knockout on the Larvesta this turn. Uh, the issue is losing the two Kuzmas. I don't think I can afford to lose the two Kuzmas. So I'm gonna Cynthia here. Really wanted to Sycamore, but um, uh, we're one energy short. We are one energy short, that's fine, we'll just set up the Victini here, 
and then next turn the fun will begin. <laughs> There's the energy per turn, and then we pass. So, flaming Axel, I should have a Victini coin. Yep, that's true. Victini, well, Victini did nothing <laughs> so far. I should have a Mega Steelix coin. That's what I should have. Okay, there's a first Lurantis. I generally don't remember what Volcarona does. And there it is. So, Volcarona. Ooh. Shimmering scales. If heads, I'm confused. If tails, I'm paralyzed. Oh, wow. That's actually really bad. We're gonna have extra, extra coin flips this time around. And he hits. Ooh, but he whiffs the energy. That's very sad. It's very sad for my opponent. Okay. So I'll attach here. I will ultra wall away this and the Lele for an Octillery. And now I think getting rid of the Volcarona is correct here. Mm, do I Abyssal Hand first or do I Lily first? I think I Abyssal Hand. And Spart Demon, hello, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. And Trainer Chip, thank you so much for the host. That is very, very kind of you, Chip. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so now that we have, now that we have the energy, I don't even feel like I need to deal self damage, right? And I can also play the Mount Coronet. Dealing with special conditions is gonna be awful though. Really, really awful. But I'm gonna leave the other Steelix powered up, just in case. Like, I, if I get confused, I, retreating is actually a viable strategy. Even though it costs for energy, because I can get back four of them. And then, I'm gonna risk it with Iron Tail. I need one heads. So there's the tails. Please, Victini. <laughs> oh, we dealt 600 damage last time around, and we couldn't deal 100 this time. <laughs> uh, I, I, I guess I really didn't need to risk it. I guess that, I, that was completely unnecessary. So, 120 damage and heads? Heads. So we are confused. That's actually good for us. And I top deck the energy I need. So I can retreat. Promote the other Steelix. Oh, I really... That was so silly. Because then all I would need to do would be to deal with one Volcarona instead of two of them. Um, but it's fine, I guess. Live and learn. Do I risk it again? I guess I attach the 5 energy, so why not? I guess I attach the 5 energy, so why not? Ooh. Okay, so we can't get 4 tails in a row, right? Okay, just 1. That's all we need. All we need is 1, because Volcarona doesn't resist. That's what we needed the previous turn. Okay, so we get a prize card, which is a medal, which is good really good for us see another Lord Vesta that's not good for us see the Fighting Fury belt getting rid of the stadium that's pretty key for my opponent uh, but we do have two more Mount Coronets ooh and Professor Kukui so a ton of damage incoming 160 yep we barely survive and we get uh, confused again so now now we're gonna lose the Guzmas here, but I really need energy because I don't want to risk the flip. So there's a Mount Coronet, perfect. There is the Mount Coronet, so I'm gonna retreat once again. I just, I don't want to deal with the RNG of the Confusion flip, at least not right now, you know? So we get the two energy. If I attach the Fighting Fury Belt to this, Steelix, then I don't have to worry about the self damage potentially. If I need to attack with this one next turn, and then we deal 20 to ourselves, but it's always a 2 hit KO, so the 20 damage does, never matters. 20 damage actually never matters. So, yeah, we're doing pretty well so far. Steelix might actually go undefeated today, which is pretty impressive. Okay, so there's an N, but we always have N recovery thanks to Octillery, which is awesome. Ok, 
Okay, there's a Monk on it in case that gets discarded. Ooh, a Bulu. That's interesting. Rescue Stretcher. Okay, so looks like my opponent will be able to knock us out this turn. Yeah, there's a knockout. So now we really need extra energy. We have four in the discard pile. Well, no, now we have eight in the discard pile. Definitely promotes Tilix though. That's the last Volcarona, which is good. Okay, so there's eight energy in the discard pile. I'm gonna Ultra Ball. I feel like I might need Guzma to take my last prize card. I'm gonna grab the other Steelix, and there's one Metal Energy left. But one trick we can do is if we use Mount Coronet, like if we get Field Lower, then we can Field Lower that and then play the other Mount Coronet and get energy back that way. But I get the energy, which is cool. Which is cool slash incredibly lucky. And we are not out of range of Bulu, actually. We are not out of range of Bulu. So we really need our Mount Coronet to stick for quite a few turns. Now, my opponent has been struggling to find energy so far. So I'm actually going to end here. So I'm, I might actually need the double the double Mount Coronet trick. I might actually need the double Mount Coronet trick next turn. If my Steelix goes down. Um, Andrew, I'm unfortunately not going to Collinsville indeed. I was planning on going. Um, but then League Cups got scheduled and if I don't go to the League Cups this weekend, like I'd rather get the League Cups out of the way so that I can potentially go to one or two special events and then the three regionals in, in March. So like I really, because I can't afford to miss out on League Cup points, that's the issue. And in order to get the same amount of points um, from regionals, I would need to top 8, which I feel like I can, but out of a thousand masters, it's definitely not easy, you know? So, unfortunate, but it's what I have to do. Okay, so <laughs> this is where the Victini fun begins once again. So, check this out. We're gonna mount Coronet, 2 energy. Even, even 1 heads would be fine. And then we're gonna Skyla for field lower. And having the Guzma there is probably really good. And I'm gonna get rid of the Floatstone and then Mount Coronet. And then I will Mount Coronet for another 2 energy, which is really nice. And I will send a smiley face to my opponent. And then I will use Magnetic Circuit. Attach 5 energy to my Steelix. And hope for the best, right? We've only flipped one head so far in this match, so I feel like we're due. We are due for a good Iron Tail here. We need two heads. There's tails, nope. So sad. <laughs> oh, Steelix, Steelix. You're letting me down. Everyone <laughs> says I have bad luck. That's okay. I mean, I am playing out flipping deck so <laughs> ah the larvesta is pretty annoying though i mean as long as we get energy back this turn yeah we need more luck <laughs> we definitely need more luck okay there's a cynthia so i was close on the deck guess i guess corn attack corn attack is already at two hit ko so we really need the two head slips right now we really need the two head slips. If I don't get them, like, yeah, if I don't get them, I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble because that's my last Steelix. So I probably need to power up Magnezone, I guess. Probably need to power up Magnezone. And then here we go. Iron Tail. One heads. No, we need two heads. One heads. No. <laughs> Now if he has an energy, he knocks me out with the GX attack. And I can do nothing about that. I literally can't do... Oh, he horn attacks. Yeah. I was gonna say the GX attack and heals, but he didn't even need to do that. So, oh well. Oh well. Okay. I guess we give Steelix one more try. 
I guess we give Steelix one more try, so let's go R1, and good game Kevin. Ooh, another fire deck, that's annoying. And Paul Zemanko, yes, I am going to North Carolina for sure. I'm, go I'm not going to Collinsville this weekend, so that I can go to the regionals that are happening um, in March, which are Costa Mesa, Collinsville, I mean Costa Mesa, North Carolina, well, Charlotte, Costa Mesa, Charlotte, and Portland. I'm going to all those, all three of them, and then I might try to do uh, one or two special events in Latin America. Oh, this hand is so bad. Um, this hand is actually so bad. Okay, we're up against a Lazzle GX deck, so we're never gonna beat that with our uh, metal deck. We're definitely never going to beat that with our metal deck. What? And he's using blend? So you're... Oh no. It's unit energy. I thought he was using blend uh, for a minute there. Okay, so we can... A middle end. We can actually just lose to Vino Shock. We're probably going to lose next turn, no matter what. So we just attach, and then we Professor's Letter. And yes, Gumi Girl, I will accept the requests just as soon as I'm done with this match. Now, please guys, if you see me using Steelix, please don't use a fire deck. I mean, feel free to use a fire deck, it's just... The game won't last more than a couple of turns. <laughs> the viewers are savages. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Okay, so after this game, I will accept everyone who is on the list, and then I will... Um, and then I will keep playing, okay? So, energy on the lazzle. Um, no, R1, I mean, <laughs> you chose you chose this deck. Um, and you knew I was using Steelix. I mean... Okay, so we lose this one, right? Unfortunate, but I'll accept the people who are um, the people who sent requests, which is only one. <laughs> is that you, Kumi Girl? And then one last game with Steelix. Yeah, one last game with Steelix, guys. One last one. You guys want to send the challenge? Okay, and for those of you who are new as well. Um, if you already played me, I only play against you guys um, against you guys once, okay? So if you play me now, um, there's two more decks that I want to use against you guys. Um, so if I play you right now, then until the next time, um, we can, we will play again, okay? Ooh, we get a pretty good hand, honestly. Like, we already have Ultra World Red Candy into Magnet Zone. So, I might actually just Lily for 5 here. I might just Lily for 5. Okay, we see Victini. I didn't pay attention to the previous screen, so I actually don't know which types my opponent is using. I actually don't know which types my opponent is using. Okay. The last deck is the one that... I will never beat you guys with. Okay, so this is probably some sort of Lunala or maybe Solgaleo list, which it looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna... Do I use the Ultra Ball or do I just Lily for three? I feel like the Field Blower also has a lot of merit. So I'm just gonna Lily for five here. And... Okay, pretty... <laughs> Pretty good hand, honestly. So far, looking pretty good. We actually have the Iron Tail for next turn. If my opponent doesn't end me, we actually have the Iron Tail. We have whatever we top deck, we discard that and the Field Blower, um, unless it's a Magnezone. Um, we discard that for the Ultra Ball, we get the Magnezone, we rare candy into Magnezone. And then we Professor Slider, and we get... No! <laughs> Darn it. It was too good to be true. It was definitely too good to be true. 
It was too good to be true. Okay. So now our hand is nowhere near close to being what it could have been. Um, based on the elixir and the two cosmogs, I'm gonna assume it's a Luna lot deck. I actually don't have any information. Well, and the psychic energy, I guess. Never mind. Okay, I cannot. I cannot get Magnuson set up this turn. I'm gonna lose this no matter what. So I'll just make my deck thinner by two cards attached to the Steelix. <clears throat> and then Sycamore away. And yeah, Joe Bro, I mean, the next deck is a Hypno Darkrai deck, and then the one afterwards is um, is a Kingler deck. <laughs> so, Fire Deck, welcome Fire Decks. <laughs> rich Guy Sleeves, what do you mean Rich Guy Sleeves? Um, I attach the Floatstone to one of the Magnemites, and then I play the Mount Coronet. I can draw two cards with Abyssal Hand, which is nice. And then, okay, so we get Old Trouble, which could help us in getting Magnuson next turn, if if we find a rare candy. Okay, just realized I forgot to put the link to the stream on the... Um, on the Facebook page, on the Facebook post, I just put the <laughs> the Kingler image. Okay. Yeah, no, I mean, I didn't mean... Um, I didn't mean that... I don't think you were peeping. Yeah, it's like... That was probably your only supporter. It's fine. Like, I don't think anyone would generally just be watching the stream and playing at the same time to get an advantage. And if they are, it's fine. It's nothing serious, guys. It's nothing serious. Oh, they are? Victini sleeves and box are worth a lot? Really? Okay. I generally did not know that. Okay. I actually feel like I should keep the old troubles alive here. I will play the floodstone though. And then we shall end. And still nothing helpful. Damn. So we just pass. What? 2,500 packs? Are you serious? Why? Why is it so rare? How can it be worth that much? <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. I feel like this is where we're gonna see Rare Candy Lunala GX. No, Lunala Prism, okay. Moon's Eclipse. You can use that attack only if you have more prize cards remaining. Dark Clash doesn't apply weakness, I mean resistance, which is nice. And then we see a Cynthia. Um, Necrozma, okay, so we are safe from a 1 in KO. Well, never mind, not anymore. Rare Candy, okay. Can we? Okay, we can finally deal some damage now. I do want to do this. No tool cards yet by my opponent, so I'm just gonna Sycamore away here. Can we finally find Rare Candy Magnezone? Nope. We cannot. So I will get rid of these two cards. If I had a Magneton. One Rare Candy is priced, which makes it, I guess, understandable. I won't grab any energy. And then, come on Rare Candy. 3 out of 16, so not very high chances. Ooh, but there we go. <laughs> because maths, right guys? Oh, they were only available in Canada for a short amount of time for gems or real money. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Now I understand. Yeah, the the whole gem structure is really weird, right? With PTCGO. Now this energy I will attach to the Steelix, and then I will also mount Coronet for the two energy and attach them to the other Steelix. And we finally hit our stride, guys. In 2011, wow. <laughs> I mean, and I understand they're worth that much, but who pays for the, who pays so much for them? Okay, Iron Tail, one heads, one tails. Let's try again. One heads, two heads, awesome, three heads. Perfect, 310 damage. 
310 damage. We get our first two prize cards. And now... Ooh, Lele. Ooh, <laughs> Lele is gonna do a lot of damage. And gets rid of my second Mount Coronet. So we only have one Mount Coronet left. Okay. If he gets Rare Candy Lunala, five and my five, that would be 200 damage. Not applying resistance. So my opponent would need a Choice Band to knock out my Steelix. But he would be committing all of the energy onto one Lele. Which I guess does, technically doesn't matter. Um. <laughs> the White Snake, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the extra for the extra cheers. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you so so much. They mean a lot, seriously. They mean so so much. Thank you. Um hopefully we get some better coin flip lock next time. Ooh, Lunala, the golden Lunala. There we go. Golden Lunala. So what does my opponent do here? If he knocks me out. Ooh, psychic transfer. Okay. So, is he going to use the GX attack? We need triple heads to knock out Lonala, which is really bad. And I assume he runs Max Potion? We haven't seen any. But he also... Oh, he has played two Sycamore. Thank you so much, the White Snake. Wait, what? Oh... You can knock out one of your opponent's basic Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon GX. And this is not a GX, it's an EX. Ugh. Steelix is so bad. <laughs> it's really so, so bad. Okay. So we're gonna attach. And then... Do I Cynthia or do I Abyssal Hand? I feel like I should Abyssal Hand here. And then... We get the Fighting Fury Belt. And then there's nothing I can really get rid of with my first attack, so I'm just gonna Cynthia. I have very few cards left, so I just need one energy. Okay, so this is where we need the triple heads, guys. <laughs> or the six heads. Can we actually flip triple heads? Okay, no matter what though, I will get rid of the stadium, because... That way, hopefully I prevent my opponent from retreating. And now my Steelix should be safe. Presumably. Tails. Okay, we do want to reflip. Tails. Okay. <laughs> that was so sad. <laughs> that was so sad. <laughs> that was so sad. It's the Victini's leaves. Okay. So... My opponent can get rid of Steelix. If he chooses to... Or if he can retreat and like use prismatic burst we lose our fighting fury belt and our float stone that's okay the question is did he find another stadium yeah we lose the float stone and the fighting fury belt how are we running through our deck so quickly guys <laughs> it's really insane there's a psychic transfer I guess, ooh, four energy. So 120 damage and I cannot be healed. Okay, so even more energy is committed. Ah, if we had hit one heads, that would have been nice. Okay, so we get a energy. And then I get a Bizzle Hand. And then I can get another very candy magnet zone, but I'm in danger of decking myself out. <laughs> I really needed the uh, the stadium though. Okay, so we need triple heads, guys. We need triple heads. Can we pull it off? Nope. <laughs> We've gotten triple tails. Quadruple tails. No. <laughs> what? That is so sad. Ah. Uh, okay. There's an N. That is a Steelix, Rob. <laughs> that is a Steelix indeed. That is indeed a Steelix. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> bad Steelix, yeah. We used up all the luck when we hit six heads in a row. 
Like even one hits would have been nice. No, we need we really needed two. We well we needed three, I guess. Okay, so we have five cards left in our deck. So I should have more N Do I just no if I Lily for five I lose. So I need to abyssal hand for three. No. <laughs> My stadium isn't the last two cards. If I use Lily, I lose. If I use Lily, I lose. What is this? No. Mm. <laughs> Wolfie Click would definitely would we'll definitely be proud of us guys um i guess i give up big teeny now i really have no idea what to do here i guess i can lose one magnet zone okay i need my last two cards to be exactly like n and well i know one is mount coronet but i need it to be mount coronet and n and in that order as well <laughs> I know, Rhea, but we did hit six heads in a row. We did hit six heads in a row. Ooh, Psychic Transfer onto the Necrozma, I assume. Yeah. And then Kuzma for the knockouts. Ooh, all of the energy. <laughs> That's gonna be such a big attack. Okay, see, this was more fun. This was more fair. Um, uh... <laughs> That's okay. Stilix had its had its moment. Stilix made us happy. Okay. Now it's so much damage. Okay, so GG Flaming Axel. Okay, so now guys, it's time for a different deck. Now it's time for Hypno. So let me accept. Oh, there's no one sending a request. Okay. 